Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna be doing a video giving you five college tips if you're a college student or you're in high school ready to go to college. So stay tuned. I don't know how much you're gonna benefit from this video, but I hope you guys enjoy. Tip number one is don't get the biggest meal plan that you think that you're gonna need. Because if you get the biggest meal plan, one, you're spending way too much money, and two, you're not gonna use it all. Uh, I would say get the medium or lower um, meal plan, and then you can be getting groceries. Um, because sometimes for lunch, you're not always going to want to go down to the cafe and eat food. Um, you're going to want something really quick and easy that you can just grab in your room and go. And that's for breakfast and dinner as well. So you want to get foods that are really just easy to eat and uh, snack on. And just save your money and be smart. So tip number two is get a planner or a planner app. I have a planner app or calendar app. Um, on my phone so anytime I have an assignment I just put it in there or when I get the syllabus I put the assignments in my planner that I know that are gonna be on a certain date that just keeps me in check so I know when is gonna when everything's gonna be due and you don't fall behind once you fall behind in college it's kind of downhill from there it's really hard to catch back up Tip number three would be probably to join some kind of organization or club on campus. One, you're gonna meet a bunch of new people, so new friends that you wouldn't have had um, just being a regular student. And two, um, it just gives you a lot more things to do. Even on the weekends, um, you might just be laying around bored in your dorm. Um, you just have a lot more things. It'll keep you more busy which can also help you focus more on school. So join an organization or even um, some intramural teams, or if you're on a sports team already, that's really great. Tip number four, I would say, is to have some kind of part-time job, either if it's work study or it's just a regular part-time job that you work off campus or through school as well. Working during your schooling is just gonna when you graduate, employers are going to see that you've worked the whole time that you've been in college. So they're like, wow, they can handle a lot. Also, the extra income is just nice to have. Even if you have a car or you just want to have a little extra spending cash and you don't really want to rely on your parents the whole time you're through college. It just gives you a little extra security net that you didn't have before. And you can work 10, 12 hours a week and still have that extra money but not feeling too stressed out from working too much. So just look out there. There's a ton of part-time jobs that are always looking for work and even seasonal work if you just want some extra money. Tip number five is just get your stuff done ahead of time. A lot of the times the teachers tell you way far in advance when an assignment is due. Um, a lot of the times you can get it done the week before it's even due. Um, Sometimes I like to just do things like the day that I get it. So I know that it's done and I don't have to worry about it. If Especially with papers, you want to at least write a draft. Like even if you don't want to write, just write something. Just don't leave the paper blank. If you're writing a draft, just get it, just get it a little bit done, um, and then once you're ready to type the whole thing, you'll have something to work off already. So then you won't just be writing something random. That's it for the video. Make sure you get your eight hours of sleep so you don't end up looking like this.